Hello, I'm Brian Yancey and I'm here at New Tech Machinery in Aurora, Colorado. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix, with very simple hand tools, a very common communication error with the New Tech PLC. One of the common errors you'll see with a New Tech PLC is a host communication error. It does not need to be sent back into New Tech for service. This can be fixed in the field with simple hand tools. The tools you'll need, straight slot screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, 7 16 or 3 8 wrench, depending on the model. So this is where you'll know that you have a host communication error. It will tell you upon loading when you first turn the machine on that the screen is not communicating to the PLC inside of this box. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this gas strut. It is sometimes tricky. We just wanna put a little bit of pressure outward on that clamp and then push out on the strut at the same time. Be careful not to lose that spring. Once this gas strut is free, you just push it up here in the lid. That way it doesn't fall down on you, it stays out of the way. Once we get our gas strut out of the way, we want to make sure our controller is disconnected from the machine. And that way we know we have no power to the controller. Once we know we have no power to the controller, we're going to remove the 10 Phillips screws. Once we get these screws out, you want to make sure that you keep track of the screw and the washer. The washer keeps condensation from getting inside of this box if you're on the job site. So if you lose those washers, you will get water in this box. Now that we have the 10 screws removed, we're going to carefully lower this screen. And this will reveal our problem. The problem is the communication cable that goes between your PLC controller computer and the screen has come loose. It goes underneath this clamp and connects to the PLC itself. Now, some versions of the controller are different, so your controller may not look exactly like this, but they are all very similar, and the cables just might be different. What we're gonna do is pull this controller out of the way. First thing we need to do is get this bracket out of the way so we can plug back in. In this version of the PLC, we're gonna use a 7 16 wrench. Bracket removed. And we wanna make sure that we correctly align our pins. We don't wanna damage them, so take note of the alignment pins. This is another type of communications cable that you may have. It's the same concept. You're just gonna make sure it's firmly pressed to the PLC. You wanna hear a solid click. Now that we have our cable securely in place, we're gonna put our clamp back in. Now we don't wanna get heavy handed with this, but we do need it to apply some downward pressure onto that cable so we don't have this issue again. Tighten your 7 16th bolt up. We're ready to close the box back up by reinstalling the screen. We're going to reinstall our 10 screws to hold the screen to the machine, reinstall our gas strut, and then test. So now that we have our screws with washers in place, we're gonna reconnect our gas strut. Sometimes this will just clip in, but sometimes you need to use your screwdriver to kind of give it a little bit of help to press it into place. Okay, so now that we have our controller completely reassembled, we're gonna connect it to the machine, pull the e-stop, power it up, and we'll see if we get our host communication error. If you get to the home screen, you have no error, it should be good to run. Now, that's how we fix a host communication error on a new tech PLC. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we encourage you to leave comments below.